Hi, my friends, it's Miss Michelle. I'm sitting outside in front of the rectory at the Waldo site. The rectory is a building where the priests live. I have somebody special that I would like to introduce you to today. So come on with me and we'll go and find out who it is. Good morning, friends. It's me, Miss Michelle. Here I am in our small adoration chapel that we've turned into the place where we have say masses on the weekdays. I'm here with a very special guest. Hey guys, how what, are you? What's your name? Hey. What's your name, friend? Hey, my name is Father Jose. Hello, Father Jose, how are you? Good, and you? I'm great, I'm great. Would you like to show my friends all about what you have in the chapel? Oh, for sure. Hey, first of all, I heard that uh, you got such a wonderful group of kids. They're lovely, well behaved. Is that true or is that a lie? It's totally true. Most of the time, Father. <laughs> okay, good, because you can't lie. Oh, no, that's true. I'm in the chapel. Yeah. I shouldn't, I shouldn't lie. No, my kids are wonderful. They're great. Lovely. And I'm sure they're really happy to see you. Hey, I'm really happy to see them as well. <laughs> so let me show you around. Super. Here we have our... Um, the the ambo where we read the scriptures oh that's like that right? book stand over there right? yeah and then we have our our easter candle uh that was blessed on the on the vigil and it represents the light of christ oh. every time we have mass it's lit up and jesus is here with us can i get closer to it father oh, it please, looks really please. beautiful oh I, it's I like gold Oh, you just did? Get it. Just get it. I oh, did you're in the chapel, Father. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yeah. Wow. So it's a, it has a, let me show you, it has a, the five wounds of Jesus, right? One, two, three, four, and five. Wow. So five wounds of Jesus, and it's meant to rem make us remember that he loves us so much that he was willing to die for us. And now we have the opportunity to go to heaven, thanks to him. Oh, heaven sounds great, Father. Oh, it would be awesome. It would be like like a like a a world uh, a Disney world in ecstasy, like so much joy, so much peace. And we, there's probably soccer there too, right, my oh, Father? Absolutely, they got a big, huge stadium waiting for me. Oh, I'm sure they do. You better be extra good so you can get there for sure. And so we also have our our uh, altar where we call down the Holy Spirit every. They at Mass and Jesus and the Spirit come and they uh, and the bread and the wine are transformed into the body and the blood of Jesus. What a beautiful mystery. It's almost it's a it's a miracle. It's a miracle that wow. the simple bread becomes Jesus himself. And you know, our kids are preparing for that as well, right? They Those, are we have so many friends preparing for first Holy Communion, Father. I'm sure that they're very excited about this. It would be amazing because then they'll be able to have Jesus inside their hearts, like the real Jesus. That's beautiful. Yeah. So we also have our, our statues right behind me uh, of Mary and St. Joseph. I'm going to get a little closer. Yeah. I love the statue of the Blessed Mother. She's so beautiful. Oh, and she, yeah. She's so beautiful as well. Saint and St. Joseph, Joseph. Right? Oh. With baby Jesus. So these images are, are meant to be like photos, like photos that remind us of our our family in heaven that but, our, our mother like she's really our mother i know i know like i have my mother i know the kids have their mother right they do yes and they love them too they sure do but in heaven we have a special mother the mother of jesus who is our mother as well and these statues are meant to be like photos that remind us of how much jesus loves us that he gave us his mother and the saints as well like saint joseph who are in heaven and they are praying for all of us that we all may join them one day. Isn't that's, that beautiful? That's so beautiful. That we have our earthly family here, but we also have a uh, heavenly family in heaven with Jesus and uh, all the saints are uh, up there. And Mary and Joseph. You want to hear something cool? Every, yeah. Every time we we have Mass, like our our heavenly family comes to it. Everybody? Everybody. Like all the saints and the angels come to mass. But it's so small in here. Look how look how small it is, friends. I know. I it's know. so small. And and we might not be able to see them, but they are present and they are here. 
And they come to bring us and, and to be with Jesus as Jesus comes upon our hearts. So like every time we receive Jesus, it's like the angels come around us wow. to reverence the, the presence of Jesus there. So we can't see them, but they are present here. What a mystery. It's like Jesus. You can't really see Jesus, but he is alive. And he is but we know us. he's here. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So same thing. That's why the family of, of uh, the saints are with us. And you see that tabernacle in the back? I sure do. That's where after Jesus becomes present in the bread, and we have some reserve, like pieces of Jesus, or we have Jesus there in the in the tabernacle. Oh, like leftover leftover hosts that have become Jesus' Jesus. body, that's where those go? Yeah, and we put them there because sometimes our friends who are a little older who can't come to mass and they are sick and they need Jesus so we go and bring them Jesus and that's so beautiful that's the 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 hosts that we use to bring Jesus to the people that are sick why is that candle lit is that safe oh yeah so that candle is meant to remind us that the presence of Jesus is in the tabernacle that Jesus is inside there that's why every time we come into a church, we kneel before the tabernacle because that's where Jesus is. So you look at the cross. The cross is just simply a picture of Jesus, right? But if you look at the tabernacle, that's where the real Jesus is. Oh, kind of like how this is a picture of you, Father? Yeah. And that's like the cross? Yeah. And then the real you? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jesus in the tabernacle. Yeah. So, oh, that's beautiful. And so he is there always uh, waiting for us. So every time we have a downtime, we come and, and spend time before Jesus. Oh. And he hears us and he is waiting for us. That's so wonderful. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's why churches are holy places. Um, because Jesus, Jesus himself is really there. Is there. Oh. So every time you go into a church, we always take off our hats and we, we take an attitude of silence. Of, and we don't chew gum or like eat candy and things. No, yeah, no. That's important. Because it's a holy place and Jesus is there. And he's not only there, but he's waiting for us to come and be with him. Oh, I bet you Jesus is probably pretty lonely now that we have to stay yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. That's why I try to come and be with him more often. Oh, that's beautiful. So that when I'm here, like I'm praying for all of our kids. So that they they know that we love them and that Jesus is waiting for them. So that when this is all over, they can calm themselves and be with Jesus. Oh, Jesus will be so happy yeah. to see them. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So, so this is our lovely chapel. Hey, have you seen our back wall? Yeah, I think you showed them. But this back wall, when we are praying Mass, we're looking at our fa families. And... And they are here with us. And we have them in our minds and our hearts as we pray Mass. So, kids, if uh, you don't see your photo here on the wall, tell your parents to bring us a photo so we can put it there. Yeah, send it to Miss Michelle. I'll print oh, it yeah, off. Yeah. Hey, want to find where Miss Michelle is? Yeah, where is she? Oh, There she is. Look at Joe. That little one, that's Joe. He makes funny faces. He's <laughs> praying. He's praying. That's why he's like that. He's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the other things in your house, Father. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go take a tour. Here we are in your house, Father. Can you show us around? Yeah. Hey, first of all, know that this is a private residence. This is where oh. I live. So, uh, welcome. This is uh, my home. I'm going to show you around. Okay. So, I haven't cleaned it, so don't, don't, don't be judgmental, okay? <laughs> That's okay. They've already seen Miss Michelle's house. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, let me show you. This is our living room right here. Wow, this, it's really big. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's big. Which chair do you sit in, Father? Oh, here, let me show you, let me show you. Uh, I switch between this red, this red chair, that one, or that one. Oh, my gosh, you have lots of chairs you like to sit hey, in. Depending on the day, <laughs> it's uh, the chair I choose. So we sit here, Father Bill and myself sit here, and we pray. And see this fire? Oh, like, it's kind of cold out this morning. I like how you have the fire on. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, the beauty of the fire is that it makes us remember, like, the 
Jesus was love. Like, have you ever looked at a picture of Jesus' sacred heart? Sacred heart? Yeah, it's like burning. Yeah. And so, this fire is like, remind us of how much Jesus loves us and how much He is burning, like, for us. Like, like that desire for us to know Him and to come to Him. Wow. So, this, this is why we pray here and we read spiritual stuff. We read the sacred scripture. These chairs look really comfy. Do you ever fall asleep in these chairs, Father? Oh, once in a while. But don't, <laughs> but don't, don't tell everyone. This is okay. a secret. Okay. Oh, okay. Secret. Don't, don't tell my boss. I won't tell your <laughs> boss. That's fine. What is that TV? Do you watch TV here, Father? Uh, sometimes we watch news. Yeah. So, do you watch football games? Do you watch, do you watch the Packers? I do once in a while. Do you watch the soccer? Yeah, but we don't have cable. So, oh. so I can't really watch it. Oh, that's true. I go to friend's house. Do you there have you cable? Go. I don't have cable. Oh, so maybe one of our friends will invite me to watch soccer games in, oh. in, in, at, at, in the cable. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So let me, let's continue with the tour, right? Okay. So this is our, our living room. And as we walk here through the house. Oh, sure. It is, it is an old house. Um, so at one point there were like a lot of priests living here. Really? Oh wow! Yeah. So what is this our, room? This is our living room, and this is where we gather sometimes for meals. So right now, if you look at how this looks like, see the three chairs and our blessed mother there. Oh, this looks like where you guys have your coffee chats in the morning with you and Father Bill and Father Doug. Exactly. So this is where we gather and we chat and we um, just talk about our faith. The beauty of our faith. That's so cool. And so this is where we film, and then sometimes we eat here. Most of the time, let me show you. We eat over here. Oh, look, there's a window that you can see into the kitchen. Yeah, that's so that we can pass on the food. You know? Oh, oh, I like to pass so, on food. <laughs> me too. So <laughs> this is our, our little kitchen. So this is where Father Bill and myself eat most of the time. That's so great. Just simple. And uh, we... Our kitchen here and our coffee machine and our stove. And... Oh, that's a pretty big coffee machine. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's not enough, though. I, I, t <laughs> I hear you, Father. So, yeah. And Father Bill has his snacks over there. Don't tell him, but uh, they're good. You see him over there? <laughs> Are you not supposed to eat his snacks? Oh, well, he's a, a keto, keto diet. That's um, true. Yep, so he doesn't he, eat any carbs, so no. he has to have special snacks like nuts and and things. But his snacks are good. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Are you a good cook, Father? Well, uh, not really. <laughs> I, I try. I try. But that's because you make your food so spicy. <laughs> yeah, that's why my face is a little red. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, my goodness! Hey, let me show you. Uh, so. This is where it's kind of a mess. Oh, do I run it? You can show them. It's okay. Look so, at that soccer. Look at that soccer like oh, bucket. Yeah. Someone. Did you get candy in there? Yeah. Is that your Easter basket? You know, uh, the my dear Putman family. Oh my gosh! I this. love the Putmans. Oh yeah, they, they they're great. They give me this soccer. That's uh, the coolest thing ever. So this must be where you wash your clothes, Father. We do. We do. So, this is cool. Let's check out some other stuff in your house. Yeah, for sure. This looks like a cozy, pretty cozy room in here, Father. What what, what happens in here? Hey, sometimes uh, we take uh, little naps once in a while. Oh. That's our bed. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh! Look, That's look. Me Don't oh, wake me up. Oh, oh, you're resting in the Lord. It's very good to take naps, Father. Oh, absolutely. And sometimes I think my friends take naps at home. Really? Oh, sure. I bet you do. Kids, do you take naps at home? Sometimes Miss Michelle takes naps at home. <laughs> I showed them my my little bed where I take naps yesterday. Oh, hey, that's awesome. So. Oh, there's a toilet in there. Yeah. Oh, you even go to the bathroom, Father. Yeah. And it looks like you've got toilet paper. You didn't have to I hoard do, any I of do. the toilet paper, did no. you? Oh, that's good. That's so, good. That's good. We, we've been blessed. Oh, it so. looks like there's some pretty things on this shelf here. Some statues. Yeah. This is our, our guest room. So when we have guests, families, and friends that stay here, this is where they sleep. So you can see our Blessed Mother over there and uh, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So That's really nice. Um, so some images here that reminds us of 
of God's love, right? So, what is your pray. what's your favorite thing to do in your house, Father Jose? Other than sleeping, <laughs> uh, well, actually praying. I love to pray in that chapel, especially when now that Jesus might feel a little lonely because people can't come. Right. So I go and 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 be with them and pray with them. That's beautiful. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Now tell your tell our friends what is your favorite snack to eat during the day? Ooh. Uh, I like to eat. I got a, a sweet tooth. <laughs> and what's your favorite candy, Father? I love Snickers. <laughs> and okay, tell the friends what you get when you go to Culver's and you get a a, a shake. Well, that's kind of a secret. <laughs> But we'll keep it a secret. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So uh, maybe somebody could should should they do that as a homework assignment? Should the kids try to guess what your favorite shake is to get uh, at Culver's? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do okay. That. Okay. We'll do that. So you know that Snickers is part of it. Okay, it's Snickers is part of it, friends. So guess what kind of shake that father likes to get at the Culver's? <laughs> it's kind of an unusual. Okay, well, don't give him but, any hints. No, but it's good. It's good. If you were to try it, you would love it. Oh, okay. Have you tried it? Um, no. I know what the secret shake is, friends, and I don't think I'm gonna try it. What? <laughs> what? Okay, and what's so? And okay, so that's your favorite candy bar is Snickers. What's your favorite snack to eat at nighttime before you go to bed? Oh, uh, a hot tea, so that I can sleep well. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, so you don't have Oreos. Before you go to bed? No. I can't have too much sweet. I know. You won't be a flat father if you have too much sweets. I know. I think I'm having that problem already. You see, my my cassock is about to explode. <laughs> it's not. Oh, why don't you tell the friends about um, why you're wearing a cassock? Here we have you wearing a different kind of outfit. Oh, yeah. Hey, so this is one of the options. And the other option is a regular outfit, right? Why do you wear a cassock? Um, and how come it looks like a dress? So it might look like a dress, but cassocks were were in the in the um, in the past the traditional like work clothes of the priest. Oh, like the priest would always wear a cassock and go around and do his work and go to the hospitals. And is it like a uniform? Yeah, sort of. Uh, and then later on, it was uh, it was turned into just a, a shirt and, and black pants, mm -hmm. but the cassocks are not used very often anymore, but they're still part of um, our tradition. And they're cool. They're, they they look like a, a long garment. and Or like a robe. A robe, of. yeah. Like sort of like what Jesus would wear, right? Back in the day, like a oh. long robe. And I suppose it really, when you wear a cassock, it helps everybody else around you to know that you're a priest, right? Yeah. So because only... none, because some of the other, like some pastors of different churches that aren't Catholic, sometimes wear a collar and shirts and black pants, yeah. but nobody other than priests of Catholic churches usually. wear cassocks, right? Yeah, usually. Uh, there are some that might wear a cassock, but it's very rare. And so that's, I love the cassock. It looks, it feels great. I think it looks good on you, yeah, Father. Yeah. So that's why we wear that. That's wonderful. Uh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for showing us around your house, Father. Hey, absolutely. Kids, please know that I'm praying for you. And uh, maybe when this is all over, we can do another soccer night. Remember that night when we played soccer? At the Ron Collie? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Actually, Father, I was thinking about having a big old party for my Ooh, friends and like um, for you to say mass for them and for us to like eat pizza together and maybe play soccer in the field at the Grand. Oh, for sure. Because the, the field at the Grand is so nice and it'll be warm out probably. Yeah. Hey, can by we that have time. shakes too? Can we have shakes? Sure. If somebody can guess what your favorite shake Ooh, is, I yeah. think we could probably get some ice cream over at this oh, party. Sure, sure. So... Looking forward to that day. So hopefully we can uh, play once again. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much, Father. Hey, kids, we love you and we are missing you. We look forward to the day that we can see you again and, 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 and pray and play and have fun. Oh, so, that sounds wonderful. And send us your photo so that we can put it on the back wall of our, of our chapel. Oh, so that when we pray, for we pray sure. for you and your families. That would be great. Absolutely. God bless you guys. We love you. Bye, friends. Bye. Thanks for watching our video of our interview with Flat Father Jose. This week I'll be sending out to all of you 
these little flat fathers and you'll be able to cut them out and put them on some popsicle sticks and um what i want you to do is to try to see how father jose can live with you in your homes so you might have some ideas that maybe father jose will have snacks with you or maybe he'll go out for recess with you or he'll help you do your homework or help you pray um maybe flat father jose can say mass for you when you watch mass on facebook with your families um so i want you to send me the pictures that you have of flat father jose and it can be any one of his three little poses um doing some different things around your house i hope you enjoy your father jose's um look for them in your mailboxes towards the end of the week bye friends